any other citizens wishing to be heard. Good evening. Uh, my name is Mike Knoll. I live with my wonderful family at 2305 Lindell Drive. I wasn't actually planning to speak, but I was just listening to uh, Councilman Wright, uh, to George, and to the gentleman in the audience, too. I was reflecting on that a little bit. Um, I've had the chance the last two or three years to be a little bit involved in terms of aspects of politics and I learned a little bit about community, community organizing, and the pain that you sometimes run into when you try to bring a message across. And the one thing that came from my mind is, what I just shared with my um, friends when I visited another community. I wonder how many mountains we could move, how many mountains we could climb if we would actually work together as a community. I think we have a lot of potentials for that. I've seen it. We have been able to defeat a bioness plant because we worked together. And we had a broad support from across the political spectrum. We have been able to defeat a consolidation attempt despite the odds. I do believe we'll be able to also defeat the Charter School Amendment. And I've heard you, George, and I've heard you, Mr. Wright, and the gentleman in, in the audience quite well. I do believe, though, that we do need to have taxes to pay for projects, everything from sidewalks <coughs> to public libraries. And it is necessary that such funds need to be equally distributed so that those who need it will have access to the funds as well. So I see those aspects. But I personally, if I would be able to vote, you all know that I'm not from around here, I cannot vote, I would vote for SPOS 7, although directly connected with the hopes that we would do the best we can to use those funds for projects that are in dire need. I had a little conversation with my daughter this morning, and she asked me a little bit about SPOS 7. She seems to be growing up in a political household of sorts. And I tried to explain it to her. And then uh, she also uh, then at some point reflected on it and said, well, have these guys never been to the public library? You do not know how full it is and that there is problems really with the roof. She has been at the library a lot. So there are projects we need to take care of as a community. And that includes sidewalks and public libraries and bicycle paths, perhaps. But we need to have money for that. So I would vote if I could for SPOS 7. I would also be here on a regular basis and ask you to make sure that these funds are equally distributed as they should. And so I understand where you're coming from, George, and understand also where the gentleman that spoke before me, as well as the lady who spoke before me, came from as well. So I hope that Spot 7 passes, and I hope that we have the wisdom to use those funds in an appropriate fashion. That's all I wanted to say. I appreciate giving me the time to talk. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nolan.